Hey guys, so I've got something uh, on the brain today that I think might be a common um, thought pattern or concern for a lot of people out there. I'm going to start just by reading this little email that some of you may have gotten. Um, I got this, I, I don't even know how many years ago and from who, and I always just kind of cut and paste it and kept it just because I thought that it was so poignant. And it's actually one of those chain emails that you're supposed to send back to the person and, you know, anyways, I don't really do those, but um, I'm just going to read you um, the email and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm looking at my iPhone here, if you wonder why I keep looking sideways and down. So it says, people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. When you figure out which one it is, then you will know what to do for each person. When someone is in your life for a reason, they usually meet a need that you have expressed. They have come to assist you through um, difficulty, to provide you with guidance and support, to aid you physically, emotionally, or spiritually. They may seem like a godsend, and they are. They are there for the reason that you need them to be. And then without any wrongdoing on your part, at an inconvenient time, this person may say or do something to bring that friendship to an end. Sometimes they die, sometimes they walk away, sometimes they act up and force you to take a stand. What we must realize is that our need has been met, our desire has been fulfilled, their work is done. The prayer you sent up has been answered, and now it's time to move on. Some people come into your life for a season. Because your turn has come to share and grow or learn, they bring you experience of peace or make you laugh. They may teach you something that you have never done. They usually give you an unbelievable amount of joy. Believe it, it is real, but only for a season. Lifetime friendships teach you lifetime lessons. Things you must build upon in order to have a solid emotional foundation. Your job is to accept the lesson, love the person, and put what you have learned to use in all your other relationships and areas of your life. It is said that love is blind, but friendship is clairvoyant. So, I've often thought about this reading when I have... Um, issues come up in friendships um, that I, you know, I think maybe are, were for a reason or for a season friendships. And all kinds of things can come up to cause, you know, distance between friends. Um, you know, it, for me, you know, being female and in the age group that I'm at, oftentimes childbirth, so not for me, I'm not having children, but when your friends have children, you know, there's there's tends to be a distance between you and them, whether or not, you know, either of you wants to admit it, it just happens, because one of your priorities is this new little person, and the other person in the friendship's priorities are probably, you know, different, more of a, a single person, or a person that's part of a couple, but not having kids, and, you know, there can be all kinds, of, that's just one obvious example, but there can be all kinds of things that happen in your life or in your friend's life that might mean that maybe you're not going to be friends anymore. It doesn't mean that you, you know, wish that person ill will, you could love them from afar. I always just wonder, how okay with that are we? Really? As I know for myself, anytime I've had to kind of distance myself or um, maybe end a friendship, it's always been a huge um, drama for me. Mostly because I don't want to hurt the other person. Um, and not all people are willing to hear, thanks for coming out, but I'll see you later, you know. And sometimes that's what friends are. Sometimes they pop into your life to mirror something that you need to learn in your life, or vice versa, and maybe you mirror something that they need to learn, and that's all it's meant to be, and then you're just meant to move on. And maybe some friendships take breaks for, I know, I know of a couple people that, you know, had a few years apart, really, really close friends, had a falling out, had a few years apart, and then reconnected, and the experiences that they had while apart were so similar that when they came back together, even stronger, and even more grateful for each other. And so, I'm just interested on what your thoughts are on this concept of change, and friendship, and forever. Are all friendships supposed to be forever? Are some of them just supposed to be for a while? Are you okay with that? Not in your logical mind, but in your heart. If a friend said to you, tomorrow, I'm really grateful I've had you in my life, but I need to move on, would you be able to deal with that? It's just food for thought, something I've been mulling over a lot in the last probably couple of years, actually, as 
the more that I change and develop and the more my priorities shift, the more I've noticed that there are people that may be in my life that are great people, but they just aren't serving me anymore or I'm not serving them or we don't have anything in common. And getting together is sort of out of a sense of obligation as opposed to enjoying each other's company. Because I'm a strong believer that when you are with your friends, you should feel better after you leave being with your friends. You should feel energized and happier and more content and more supported and more loved than when you you know, were before, before you were with them. And so if you have a friend that you're meeting with out of obligation or a sense of history as opposed to a sense of this serving me in my life, could you let that go? How do you let that go? How do you communicate that to the other person? Is it mutual? Maybe you're both only going getting together out of a sense of obligation. That's possible. So just some thoughts that I have on friendship and on change. And I do honestly believe that everything in life is impermanent. So even if you have friends for a lifetime, when one of you dies, the friendship goes with it, you know. And some, I think, are maybe years, some weeks, some months. Who knows? But I don't think I believe in permanence in any relationship. I'm romantic, friendship, who knows? Maybe they will be, maybe they won't be. And how is it that we can become more comfortable with that, with the change that inevitably happens um, when you, you change and you grow and you have different life paths and life takes you in different directions? So, for example, I have one friend, I will not name any of these friends, but I have one friend, for example, that if I haven't seen for a couple months, gives me a big guilt trip about how they haven't seen me and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then I have another friend who I haven't seen for probably three years. And any time we run into each other, and it's because we don't really have anything in common anymore. She's an awesome girl. She obviously still adores me. But we really don't enjoy doing the same things. We don't like going the same places, doing the same things anymore. We've just grown and changed over the years, you know, through our adult paths. And we don't really spend a lot of time together anymore. But yet, whenever I run into her... We could go for coffee as if no time has passed. There's no guilt. There's no hard feelings. There's no judgment about whether or not the other person was there or sense of obligation. It's just happy to see you, catch up, connect, and then we may not see each other again for another few years. And knowing that that person's there for you regardless. So, for example, when there was a major life tragedy, a couple of them that have come up in her life recently, I was one of the first people she called, even though I haven't seen her in three years. And why can't we be okay with that? Why is it that we can't love someone from afar? Even if, you know, maybe our lives are not in sync, in connected, interconnected anymore. Can we just wish someone well and always think they're fabulous, but let them be on their way? So I'm interested in your thoughts on this whole dynamic of friendships and relationships in general. Um, oftentimes I find that women, I don't, can't speak for men, but women will put up with far more from their girlfriends than they would ever put up with from a boyfriend as far as just poor behavior or not treating them properly, um, not being respectful. And so why is that? Why is it that, you know, you would let your girlfriends, um, you know, take advantage of you in ways or not respect you in ways, um, and your time and things like that, that you would never tolerate from somebody you were dating? And what's behind that? And I'm sure I'm not the only person, I know I'm not the only person who's had that experience. So I'm interested in your feedback. Leave me comments or send me a personal message if you don't want to, you know, leave them below. But leave me comments, leave me feedback on your friendships. The ones that have come, the ones that have gone, the ones that have endured, the ones that have taught you, the ones that you love from afar. Ciao.